Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, this time we're gonna cluster two data sets and I'm gonna show you the website. I also got the link to the code in GitHub in case you guys have trouble. And I also got the link to the data set on my GitHub, which I'm going to leave a link to this video. Now, uh, one more thing, guys. Um, don't do the code unless you absolutely need to. Now, another thing. Uh, we're going to cluster two data sets. And these are SMPs, so these are not raw DNA data sequences. These are SMP profiles of an Estonian person and uh, a profile of Korean. The reason why I chose these two is because... Well, Asian people, East Asian and Central Asian people, uh, have some genetic similarities to Eastern European peoples. More, more the Slavic than the Baltic. However, Estonian is Baltic. That's because of Mongolian invasions and uh, you know migrations a little bit. So it's not uncommon for them to have a little uh, East Asian or Central Asian DNA. That's why I chose these two data sets. For example, if there was a black American and there were a Western European, I would choose those two because a lot of black Americans have Western uh, European blood in them. Same thing with uh, others, you know, other groups. However, this one was limited. Let me take you to the data set. Okay, guys. Um, there's the data set, like there was African American, and then there's Estonian, you see? And then uh, you'll, you guys will have the Koreans on another page. Basically, this is Korean, this is Estonian. Okay? And let me take, let me skip ahead and I'll take you to the other Korean cluster. We're going to use K means and PCS, principal component analysis. We're going to combine. You see, there was some similarity, and then both of them. The elbow was at two, so we had to use two uh, end clusters. Okay. Anyways, guys, um, the reason why there was probably some similarity is because Estonian people, although that's a part of Eastern Europe, they uh, Mongolians did invade, and they some do have some East Asian blood, which Korean is East Asian. So it makes sense there could have been some genetic similarity. Anyways, guys, um, let's get started. Import these libraries. Read the first data frame. Look at the head. As you can see, we're going to need to encode this. And then there's the frequency. There's not much frequency in the first five uh, rows, huh? The frequency. The alleles and the locus, and then there's the frequency. Remember, these are SMP clusters. That's why a lot of DNA companies, when you do uploads, you upload files similar to this. And uh, the reason why they never decode a genetic uh, raw data sequence is because you could go off and make your own software. So all the companies basically know the reference number. That's why you can download and you can upload to other companies and they got uh, different data sets and they get more deep, much more deeper into this. Different data sets. However, these are all automated by algorithms. Anyways, guys, um, got much more data sets, much more reference panels. That's why each one is different. However, some of them are different. I'm not sponsoring uh, Genome Link. However, they tend to do that at a chromosomal level and have, uh, you know, uh, academic data sets. Some companies have self-reported, which is why you get errors sometimes. For example, a person might uh, be from Germany and they think uh, they're 100% German when they might have uh, British or Slavic or whatever. And it might be significant. Anyways, guys, that's why you can't really trust self-reported. You have to go with academic and ground truth. Anyways, guys, uh, there's the second one. As you can see, there's some frequency there, huh? This one is the Estonian data frame. Anyways, guys, we're going to look at the info. We're going to encode them both with the label encoder. Do this just as shown. Copy the code if you need it. Okay. 
And guys, don't try uh, one hot encoder or any of that. Um, it didn't have a good result. As you can see, look, it's encoded, each one of them with a number. And then there's the frequency. Okay. Okay, and then the first data frame, we're going to name DF Hot One. Remember, because the first data frame, the Korean one, is DF One Hot. We're going to transform it, and then next we're going to do principal component analysis. Okay, standard scalar fit transform. Okay. Remember, NCHS. We're going to add one to the other data frame to... Uh, you know, stop the confusion. D of hot one. And then we're going to add a one there for the uh, next data frame. However, guys, we're not going to get into that yet. Anyways, guys, fit NSH1. As you can see, there's the explained variance. Okay, I added 1.25. Okay, we're going to fit that data frame, transform it, and then... Uh, we're going to see the best K. Copy this right here. XPCA, remember, is transform NSHS. You do this right here because we have to find the elbow of the K. And there he is. Although if you guys feel you might get a better result with this one, I would say this is more the elbow. And then this one, if you guys... Think I'm wrong, go with three right there if you think I'm wrong and see if you get a different result. Although I put two because the elbow was two. You guys can put three here if you want. Predict NSHS. Remember, we're going to name each K means model and then the other one is model one. Remember, because we don't want to get confused. Okay, and then Y cluster is the model predicted. The centers is the model clusters. The next one will be model one. There's the centers. Okay, and then we're going to put it in a data frame, the PCA. Although, guys, if you guys want, you guys can merge this data frame onto your other one. You can even merge the centers onto the data frame if you want. You know that, right? Exercise your pandas a little bit and then combine it all on one data frame. Basically, you labeled it. Okay. And then the reduced X, remember? Reduced X is that data frame. We're going to put it on this index because it's on a different index, guys. So negative 1 and 0. The model labels is C. Remember, because we got to show the clusters. Reduced X, reduced X. Korean cluster. There's the Korean. As you can see, the centroids are not far off. However, if you guys do 3... Correct me if I'm wrong, and you guys had a different opinion about the elbow. Okay. There we go. Okay, DF hot one, DF one. Fit transform DF hot one. Fit transform the standard scaler as well. Okay. And then fit NSH one. PCA1, we're going to name that a different one. Same explained variance. Okay. And SH1, we're going to do a little scatter plot of this to mix this up, as you guys can see. Guys, go ahead and feel free, uh, NSH, NSH, and then on this index, or a different index, and then um, do it for the other one as well, if you guys want. Now, guys, here we're going to get to Estonian, same as last time. K means equals K means fit. Okay. Um, now, make sure for the other one, you guys, as you can see, the elbow is different. Okay. Let's go back to the other one. The elbow, elbow, as you can see, guys, the elbow was a little different. Ah. So as you guys can see, 
Uh, obviously, to me, this is the biggest bend right here, too. However, three for the other one was kind of questionable. That's your opinion, unless I'm seeing things wrong. Try it. Try mine and try that. Okay, Model 2, because remember, we got to name it different. K means Model 2. Model 2 predicts. Okay. PCA transform, Model 2 clusters. Clusters 1. PCA 1. Just add 1 to everything you did up there, basically. Transform 1, put those in the columns. As you can see, the PCA 1 and 2 are different in those data frames. Let's go look at the other data frame. Negative 1 and negative 4.9. Yeah, uh, they are different. The different principal component analysis significantly. Okay, reduced. Instead of reduced X, you're going to put reduced 2. Okay, and then uh, the Model 2 labels. Okay. You guys can also put centers there if you want. Mm. Labels is good enough. You guys can play with that parameter and do a different analysis if you guys need to. Anyways, this is the Estonian cluster. As you can see, the centroids are not far off, just like the other one. They're in a different place. That, all right. This one, I do not see how you guys could go with a different number, too. But correct me if I'm wrong. It's the only way you guys are going to discover something. Okay. Now, guys, um, also remember there's more data sets. And you guys might want to do a little research if you guys need to. I'm not a geneticist. I'm not a, di a, I'm not a scientist. Well, guess what? I'm a machine learning engineer who does data science. So therefore, I'm somewhat familiar if I read a little bit. I know what I'm working with. Uh, these are uh, SMPs, which is a really hard, um, you know, short uh, acronym to pronounce. Uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms, which is the same thing when you guys download your uh, download and upload your DNA into those things. It's the same thing as basically taking a sample because each company has access to each company's reference number and their frequency, basically. That's why go look at your DNA. Basically, if you guys want to do this to your own DNA and there's only one allele or there's two alleles, some companies have two alleles, you can, you can apply this to that. And... Uh, uh, go ahead. And also, um, I also want you guys to be aware, this does not mean you'll be able to go off and start your own software, obviously, because there's a lot, so much more that goes into it, and then you'd have to automate it. And there's data sets you would need, academic data sets to compare to. Then we get into deep science. Basically, you do this, you'd be worth a lot of money if you were able to do all that. And then automate it with model drift and all that. Updated as well as research goes through with genetic markers. Basically, um, so uh, like I said, guys, feel free to go off and uh, do your own DNA as well on your own. Although, like I told you, a lot of the DNA, remember, they have two alleles. Some companies do two alleles instead of one. Okay, guys, and uh, one more thing I want to let you guys know is uh, my channel does everything. So um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen it, remember, my channel's more on the machine learning engineering side. So uh, I got a lot of cloud deployments, ML ops, including ML pipelines with SageMaker, a lot of deployments of AI and machine learning web apps using Streamlit. Eventually, I'm going to get to Django. I got reinforcement learning. I got other clustering as well with text data, image data, and uh, mall data. That one is a little less complicated. Also, I got a K-means algorithm uh, deployment with SageMaker as well. Check out my other video. If you're on my channel for the first time or you've been back a few times, I guarantee you there's some stuff you probably need. 
So check it out. Uh, I've got anything you need. I've got Azure deployments. I've got uh, Google Cloud deployments. Reinforcement learning for trading also. And then reinforcement learning with OpenAI Gym. Check out that one. You, you name it, I got it. Check out my channel. I've even got cybersecurity and machine learning as well with IP Insights algorithm with SageMaker. I've even got deploying at 97% on Google Cloud, an ML web app for malware. Check out my channel. I got sentiment analysis with SIA neural network, a lot of convolutional neural networks, facial recognition, you name it, I got it. Um, also, feel free to share with anyone who might need this, okay? And also, I want to let you guys also know these SMP profiles all have a reference number with their companies. So therefore, they're not going to give out uh, the reference basically unless you're part of the big club, which I'm not obviously either. Anyways, um, in each company, that's why if you ever take a test, you get slightly different results. Some significant, it all depends. Because some, a lot of the companies use uh, self-reported ancestry. And some companies use more academic data sets. Each one has their own um, method at evaluating genetic markers all the way to uh, chromosomal level like Genome Link does. Another good one is uh, My Family Tree DNA because they've got more of a data sets from uh, other parts of the world. Some companies are more lacking in different ones. It all depends. Um, and remember, as we know in machine learning and MLOps, there's also model drift as well. That's when you don't retrain the model or the model get gets biased anyways for making so many predictions anyways guys um i hope you like my channel and uh um feel free uh to also if you don't want to do these two you guys can do other ones and you guys can apply the code as necessary i already taught you guys how to do what k means Remember, so you guys can just apply that method, find the elbow, and do your own. You guys don't have to do this one if you guys don't want to. Anyways, guys, um, remember the frequency uh, to the allele and the locus. This is basically what it's doing. Too bad these aren't labeled, otherwise we can make classification labels, which I'm assuming some of the companies might do for traits and things like that. You know, they might be able to label uh, based on what they know, label other people's and then make data sets out of it. I'm assuming multi-class classification for assuming risks for traits or if there's no risk and it's just yes or no, yes or no, binary. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you learned from my video. Stay tuned. Uh, when I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do an ML pipeline on Google Cloud. I'm going to look more into cybersecurity for ML and AI other than the ones I've done. I'm going to look for, uh, you know, uh, more um, variety. Right now, I'm on the more data science side. Usually, it's more machine learning engineering. Anyways, guys, um, Leave a comment if there's anything you guys need. Usually I'll respond quickly. I might be able to do it immediately. Or if I've already done it, I'll point you in the right direction of which one of my videos did it, like one of my viewers did. Shout out to him. Anyways, guys, um, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you uh, want. And you ha if you haven't already subscribed, please share too. And also, if you liked it, like it. Feel free. Anyways, guys, take care. Until next time, bye.